mentioned some comfortable weather ahead of us. That's right. Yeah, a little bit of fall, which means it's time to think fall. My good buddy Jerry Stevenson, <laughs> we go back a ways doing TV. Thanks for coming and doing yeah. this one, too. 30 some years. I yeah, think. well, not for you, not for me. <laughs> I'm not that old. Oh, no, <laughs> you're not. That's true. Oh. I am. I am. I'm with, with Earl May in Iowa City, let's talk about Look at this beautiful spread you've got here. Is it time? To, can we start officially thinking fall planting now? We can think fall planting. Actually, in Iowa, the best time for perennials mm -hmm. and stuff to grow are May and June okay. and September and October. The weather's cool. In the mm -hmm. middle of the summer with the heat that we mm -hmm. have, everything just tries to survive. Yeah. It just hangs in there and you keep your fingers crossed and hope it's alive come fall. And it wasn't. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It was terrible. And, you know, right now is time to plant and transplant and all of that is fantastic. Now's the time to be digging peonies and okay. dividing yeah. them and planting them. There's a lot of things like that. The critical thing you got to remember is we've been so exceptionally dry yeah. Yeah. and stressed that we are getting, and typically in a hot, dry summer, you get outstanding fall color. Mm -hmm. Now we'll see if that comes true or not. I've seen a lot of trees that are 10 years and younger. Some have died simply from lack of water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so you got to make sure you get out and get everything watered. I'm going to be transplanting a large tree for a friend of mine later on. And I told her, you got to start soaking that ground now so I can yeah. get a shovel and get it. But in addition to that, I brought, and you can get all kinds, there are fall bouquets that we plant now. Mm -hmm. Since we're in Hawkeye territory, I brought yes. you a Hawkeye bouquet. Being an Iowa State guy, that means a lot. I know, I this know, wasn't so. easy. I had an orange and gold one I could have brought. <laughs> but I picked the bullet and I brought you all this one instead to show. But we've also got pumpkins coming in and gourds coming in and all of those kinds of things. And you can do a lot of fall decorations with your flowers, with your perennials and also with pumpkins and gourds and things like this. And these are kind of fun. They got the new minis now. So look at this little stripe on this guy. Isn't yeah. that cool? I mean, they're yellow and green and flesh, and there's mini white, mini orange. This is called Cinderella. And they oh, come, yeah, like the yeah. carriage. Yes, oh. yes, and they come, and this one is kind of a blue and pink. Mm -hmm. There's dark blue ones and everything. Mm -hmm. These have come along now, and they're called knuckleheads. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's bigger ones and smaller ones. I just mm -hmm. brought what I could carry in. And so, <laughs> so, they're, so they're fine on that. But a tip, when you go to buy your pumpkins mm -hmm. and everything, especially if you wait a little bit later on, Check and look to make sure there aren't any soft spots because okay. okay. they're going to break yeah. down, they're going to rot okay. and everything. And then when you go to lift them, don't lift them just by this because these start to break down, the stems yeah. do. So anytime, especially a big one, and the longer you have your stems on them, the longer they last. They tend okay. to preserve a little bit longer. Okay. So you want to lift it like this and like that and okay. carry it like that so you don't bust so yeah, that Don't thing. just yes. pull it by that. No, no. no. I've made that mistake. Don't, don't, yeah, and all of a sudden it snaps and it's on the ground. Yes. And you or bought yourself looks, a pumpkin pie I know. in the making. <laughs> and it just looks better, you know, with some the of these. They do. They're prettier. Yeah. They're a lot more fun. Well, and I want to ask you, Jerry, going back to the mums here. You see this little bit of dead growth yeah. here. Mm -hmm. this, on, is it okay to start pulling that yeah, off Yeah, you can now? start to okay. pull that off on those. We got on the marigolds here. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't bring the mums. People got to understand. Mm -hmm. They hybridized the hardiness out of our mums a few years back mm -hmm. and everything, which is, a, which is a shame. You have a chance of keeping them alive if when you plant them, don't cut them back in the fall. You can deadhead them a little bit, okay. take off the buds, and then water them in. The other thing is last winter, we didn't have snow cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the ground got too warm and too dry. Okay. And the plants of all trees, shrubs, plants have reached their dormancy period by Christmas day. Mm -hmm. And so they're starting to grow. And so if we have no snow, get the hose, get the garden hose out, soak everything once. Okay, okay. Put it away, drain the hose, you're good. Chris, you, okay. you had a very important question for Jerry when we were putting this together. Ask him your question. I you did remember. have, oh, well, I don't remember because I, uh, what how was my question? How do I question? keep it from dying? Oh, how do I keep it from dying, yes. Oh, yeah. What's your one okay, question? my one question, how do I keep things from dying? Well, I was embarrassed to ask it. Well, how do I, well, I, I, I kill <laughs> it? The, All right, the biggest I was thing is, number one cause of death is yes. not enough water. The second cause of death is too much water. So good okay. luck on this, all right? Yes, okay. Right. But I would rather water heavy and not so often. Okay. okay. All right. So, All right. like for trees and shrubs, you know, if it's a, it's a pretty good one, you know, mm -hmm. give it a big tree, give it 10 gallons yeah. of water once okay. a month. Okay. You know, okay. Just don't dribble it a little bit. You know, that what it causes, causes the roots to stay shallow. It compounds okay. the problem. You want to water deep so the roots go deeper. So I'm doing everything wrong. Probably. <laughs> okay. And then don't water at night. Water in the morning if you can, which for your job is not easy to yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. All right. Jerry, All right. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you very Jerry. much.